Thank you for the introductions. Today, the, the world is riding around the world of sustainability. It's a global priority that requires strong action on the ground and from all of us. At GE, we are invested in solving some of the world's biggest problems, whether it be driving the carbonization of the energy sector, utilizing disruptive technologies in the aviation sector, or driving and developing precision healthcare. We also believe that a strong focus on STEM and innovation will give us further ammunition in solving these challenges. Nora, being an engineer yourself and leading a team of engineers, what was the education journey into your career and how was STEM integral to that path? Yeah, so STEM played a major role in my career path and education. It started actually way back uh, as a young uh, girl, I played with my toys, but I was very interested on how they work together. So I would open my toys and the parts and would see how they work together. And it went on to opening the VHS and probably the Gen Z doesn't know that. What is VHS? But you can Google it and see and seeing how it works really. And that helped me be more and more interested uh, in mechanical engineering. And that's the path I chose to study. And of course, need not to say that mechanical engineering is all about STEM. It's math, physics, applying it, how those parts would work together. And uh, when I graduated, I joined an internship uh, in GE with the power engineering team. And that's how I joined as well as mechanical engineer, solving gas turbine issues, daily issues, looking at the vibrations again, STEM is a big part of it. You're looking at data, you're doing the math, you have all the physics and the math in your head and trying to solve the problems every day. And today, all the team, we all work together and, and making sure the gas turbines run reliable and available. So for you, Mohammed, as a CIO, you focus on digital solutions an important part of STEM. What was your journey into your career? I've always been fascinated by technology. Like you, Nora, I used to break my toys as a kid and try and put them back together or actually create new toys. That got me interested in taking up a degree in information systems engineering. And following graduation, I joined GE in January of 2006. A few days ago, I celebrated my 16 year anniversary with the company. That was on the digital technology leadership program. And for over the last 16 years, I've had roles and jobs and assignments in 18 countries across nine different business units with a particular interest in project management and using technology to drive business and organizational transformation. Nora, how do you see STEM playing a role in solving today's sustainability challenges? And what does the future hold in terms of innovation in the energy field? plays a major role. I think solutions today lay in uh, STEM innovation. We have a challenge to reduce CO2 while we need increase and more increase in demand on energy. So really STEM, those solutions that come from the science and the technology help us move and meet that energy demand while an innovation and innovative way reduce the CO2, like moving to hydrogen, or the new technology this, that just came out, which is the artificial sun, the infusion. So that's something very as well new, all about STEM, all about finding the solution and solving the challenges. Today, we might go and say, Let's go and have a wind turbine and a solar panel give us energy, but our grids are ready or not. And all those challenges can be solved by STEM. So technology has become a main enabler for many innovations, sustainable solutions as well. How do you see it coming to play an integral role? And what does the near future look like? Gosh, there's just so much that technology is doing and can do to drive sustainability. 
we can probably spend an entire forum talking about just that. But what I can do is give a few examples, three examples that are happening today that technology is supporting sustainability. One is along the lines of what you just talked about, Nora, where technology and data and software and artificial intelligence is helping define the optimal firing temperature of a turbine that can allow us the best output per unit of fuel, thereby maximizing the energy production and the electricity production while minimizing the, the impact on the environment. Another is potentially using solar panels that are able to follow the sun as it, as it proceeds throughout the day, thereby maximizing the output. And you, for example, using simple things like uh, automated water washing to, to clean the dust of the solar panels uh, as it starts to build up over time. And one that we're investing in a lot as GE is the notion of a smart grid that uses data and artificial intelligence to identify the right source of energy to dispatch from while well, being the bi directional at times, if, you, if some consumers, for instance, have solar panels on their roofs, and this allows us to potentially do, drive a financial tariffs model that can give us the best output while reducing the peaks of energy consumption throughout the day. Nora, how do you see future generations solving some of those, uh, some of our, worst, our most pressing challenges uh, in the global sustainability drive? I'm betting on the new generation and I wish they and I vote for them to go and have a STEM career because really to have a bright future with the energy we need and the lifestyle we want to maintain and advancement is the solutions lay in STEM. Mohanad, it's been great chatting with you and really in particular how STEM and sustainability have intersected in both our journeys. For the energy transition in particular, having students focus on STEM will be critical to coming up with new technologies and processes we need for more sustainable tomorrow. Thank you everyone for joining GE for this discussion and hope to see you all in the STEM field soon. Thank you. Thank you, Nora. Thank you, everyone. It's been a privilege being here with you all.